Welcome back. Now news from sports. Host Panjim Jimkhana won the Bandorkar Trophy. Cricket tournament on Wednesday, they defeated Goa Police by 111 runs in the final. The match was held at Panjim Jimkhana ground at Kampal. Sports Authority of Goa added to Panjim Jimkhana's joy with the declaration of the assistance of Rs 20 lakh for the renovation of the clubhouse. Winning the toss, Panjim Jimkana decided to bet and posted a massive total of 194 runs for the loss of 9 wickets in the allotted 20 overs. Opener Sanjay Dabulkar played an explosive knock of 94 runs. Kuldeep Sharma made a contribution of 39 runs. Abhishek Talekar and Tango Naik picked up 2 wickets each for Goa Police. Chasing the mammoth total, Goa police were bundled out for just 83 runs in 13.3 overs. Rajendra Dabulkar with 35 runs was the only noteworthy contributor for Goa police. Balkrishna Jadeja led the Jimkana bowling attack by taking 5 wickets. Yeah, it was very pleasing because uh, the kind of uh, team we were preparing and uh, looking forward to this, to, for this tournament since the uh, con continuous two years. Uh, it is very mm, heartening that we have performed better than what we expected out of us. Was it a little difficult to adjust to the T20 format? Yeah, it, it is difficult because during our times we never played T20. Uh, we were concentrating on 50 over game, more of three day games. So directly to come and uh, play with the teams who are performing better like Goa Police and some other stamina, other teams. They are, uh, for last two, three years, they have been consistently uh, good performing teams. And to come out winners uh, second time, I think it's a good performance from our players. Sports Authority of Goa Executive Director VM Prabhudesai was the chief guest and gave away the prizes. He declared an assistance of rupees 20 lakh from the SAG to Panjim Jimkana to renovate their clubhouse. About 20 lakh of rupees to their project of uh, building the clubhouse. Building the clubhouse so that players will have better facilities. A sports reporter from Panji, Patterson Fernandez with video journalist Umkar Fulari. The opposition is rising for AIFF decision to field India junior team in the next edition's I-League. Vasco Sports Club has appealed against this move. Sporting club, the Goa coach Viswas Gaunkar, also feels that AIFF decision is not the right way to go about conducting the Indian National Football League. With Mahindra United backing out from the I-League football tournament, the AIFF has decided to field their under-21 team as a replacement. The two bottom place clubs will be relegated from the I-League and the top two clubs from the second division I-League have already earned their promotion. Vasco Sports Club finishing third in the qualifying campaign strongly feel they deserve a spot in top flight football as Mahindra's replacement. AIFF's decision to field the national junior team by flouting the rules and the regulations of the league is unfair, according to Vasco treasurer Selvin Botelo. It's a very unfair decision on clubs because I have, that I league is basically meant for clubs. It's not a competition between countries. It is a basically a competition between well-organized clubs. And their objective themselves say it. The objective of the IF, IP NFL is to establish an elite football competition in India participated in by well-organized clubs and with the highest standards of players, coaches, referees, administrators, event management and facilities. This is the main objective of the I-League. So how can the under-19 team or under-21 team come there? Because it's not a club. It is a collection of junior players from different clubs. Uh, we are appealing against this decision. In fact, we are trying to get an appointment with the president of the All India Football Federation and we will put our points across to him. Logically, it follows that Vasco should have been included in place of Mahindra. The, in the year 2006, TFA were refused admission because they were planning to fill their junior team, not the team which had qualified. Yeah. And in that year, they replaced the TFA team by Hall because Hall were the third place team in the second division. Logically, it follows that we should have been I mean, in, in the I League first division since we are third in the second division league. There are many, many, many questions which remain unanswered. Will will they have a they have a group they have a, a batch of twenty five players maybe that what about other players playing in other teams if they perform well will would they be uh, absorbed in this team to the in and put other clubs into inconvenience number two 
if players who are not doing well with the indian team what will happen will the 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 aff release them and what will be the future of these players see players have to grow up in the club and and uh, no way in the world uh, the such uh, the such things exist i league relegation battle sporting club di goa coach vishwas gaonkar also feels that vasco should have been promoted he also feels that no team should be relegated this season to make it a 16 team affair next season they should not demote any team keep this 13 team plus all those qualifying team and also they on their basis they should give chance to vasco so that it will become a 16 team league okay. as as earlier they have played and plan a sports reporter patterson fernandes with video journalists omkar falari and shushant pal Driving for some is a necessity, for some a passion and a hobby. Today in our video of the day, we have world's top 10 women drivers. Please do not get inspired by them. Please drive safe. Take care and goodbye.